everybody? Guess where I'm at? I came out to California to see my sister, her husband, Chad. They're sitting over there. And I have a beautiful camera lady today, my niece, my favorite niece in the whole wide world, Tatum. My mom that came over from Europe that flew in for a little while to see us, had us come out here and she is going to share with us her recipe for Australian dumplings. Oh. Or Tyrolean dumplings. What is that, mom? Tyrolean dumplings. Tyrolean dumplings. And this is a recipe that I grew up with that I just love. This is an incredible recipe. So today, for these dumplings, we're gonna be making about 30 or 40. So we're getting our notes so that we can have this, so we can post this up for everybody. And so what you need to cut up is green onions and about one fourth red onion. So that was already done. And then we need olive oil, pepper, salt, some people put garlic in it. This is so open, but we're gonna do it the way she makes it that I love so much. Cut up one pound of bacon that we have over here, and then we need about five or six eggs. White flour, about three handfuls. That's about a cup, cup and a half per. We're gonna make that milk, water, and we're gonna get to this. But, as soon as we, um, we'll show you, we're gonna get this all prepped up. It takes about an hour. I think you're gonna love this. This is so good. We're having goulash with this for dinner tonight, and I think you're gonna love it. What we need to do is we need to cut up some fresh bread. You're looking at French bread. You're looking this to be sitting out for a little while. What we did is we got some toasted. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up. And as you see, we already started getting this all taken care of. So my mom said, Cut the bread in half and then get these into a nice, just like that. You see that, everybody? This is what is going to make these dumplings so good. So let's get this all cut up. Now, my mom is sitting over here, so I got to ask her a question. This is one or two loaves that you usually do with two it? Two loaves. Two loaves. For the amount that we're making. So for this amount of these dumplings, we're gonna need about two loaves. And if you let your bread sit out, it will get crunchy like this. But if you could find some toasted, you know, you don't want fresh. You want it a day or two old, everybody, because this is what makes this so wonderful. So if you look at this, I got this all started cutting up. We're gonna throw this in here. And I'm gonna finish cutting this up and then we're gonna start assembling all this. So this is what we gotta do next. We gotta get the bacon going and that's one pound of bacon. So I'm in a new area and I'm learning. Now, this is my sister's brand new Christmas pan. And she said, if I touch this with a metal pole, I am banned from coming back out to California. So let's get this all done. So you just take your bacon, one pound, and what you do is you cut it up. You see how beautiful that is cut up? And then you're gonna slowly, over medium heat, render this bacon down, and we're gonna get this going. So it's nice and crispy, all right? And then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna start putting together these dumplings. I'm telling you, everybody, this is from my childhood. It's some of the best ever. You're gonna love this recipe. This an old classic European recipe that we could make here in the United States that is just so good. So let's get this bacon going. We'll be back in a moment and let's get these uh, dumplings going. Oh, wow. Well, now we just got that bacon done over here. And the way I was told, and let me show you this, we slowly rendered this down. Look at that, it is crispy, it is golden. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dump all of this right in here. So we're gonna get this all dumped in. And we're making sure we're using a wooden spoon in my sister's brand new Christmas pan or she would hunt me down. No comment from the gallery over there. You know, so just dump all of that right in there, everybody. Okay. Oh, that's just perfect bacon. We're gonna put this back down. And now we have 
the onion and that right here. And we're gonna dump that on top. This is the onion and the green pepper, or the scallion. What is that, Jane? It's a shallot. Okay, what she said, everybody. I'm slow today. Green onions. Green onion. And then what we're going to do is five eggs in here. So we're just going to break the eggs right on in here. And I'm learning this just like with you all. So let's see how good we can make these up. Oh, this is already looking incredible. Okay, we have that in and then my mom said to mix it up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our spoon and we're gonna get in there and we're gonna start mixing this up. We have the grease in there, we have the eggs in there, we have all this flavor. Don't launch it, everybody. And just give it a really good mix up. Oh, there we go. You could use your hands, a spoon, a spatula. Oh, this is looking so good, everybody. Make sure you have a big enough bowl, too. Now at my house, I have those big stainless steel bowls. Now probably when I get home and I make this up and I do some freeze prep for this, I'm gonna get my big stainless steel bowl so then I can really get into it. I gotta watch it a little tighter. Now afterwards, with this mix up, my mom said to put that first handful of flour in here. So I do believe that is a gorgeous mix. You could see the egg yolks have finally finished and broken up. Just like that. And now we're gonna take that one handful, like a cup, cup and a half full of flour and we're gonna put that in here and we're gonna mix this up now. Milk in there. Oh, stand corrected. We put the flour in and then we put in a cup full of milk. That size. So you could use 1%, 2% whole milk. It's up to you what your preference of your milk is. And we're getting this all taken care of. A full cup, right, Mom? Yeah. And then we're going to pour this in. Yeah. Now mix it up. And she says, give it a mix. Can you mix it? You want, you want to, okay. You want to get it to a point that it's like a dough because you're going to make, you know, dumplings. Yep. So now, let me see. Put in another cup of milk. Another cup. Milk and more flour. All right, another cup of milk. Like she says, because she's looking at this, we're getting, we want to get this into a dough. So, we got that mixed up nice, and then we're gonna put another cup of milk in. And she said. A handful of, take a handful of uh, flour. Should I just, a handful of flour. Let me get my hands washed up real here. All right, so let's get some elbow grease in this, everybody. A little elbow grease. It's starting to break up.
This is where your love for cooking comes in. This is what you're doing. You're trying to make something that lights up your family's eyes. They go, wow. And this is how you do it. Something as simple like this. Look at that. It's starting to break up. You could start feeling it breaking up. And I would take it, Mom, that you don't want to do this too much because you could over saturate this. Yeah. You have to get it to dull consistency so you can, you know, make balls. And you see how it looks. Okay. Add, uh, add a little bit of oil. Okay, so at this point, we're going to add a little oil. Now, my mom said that you could use any oil that you want to, but we're going to use the 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil. And she now says... Take the spoon. Yep. Okay, and do two of those spoons. Two of these spoonfuls. So there's one. Now the oil is going to help it blend, right, and give it more flavor. Yes, and it will also help make the dough. Okay. Because there wasn't enough uh, bacon grease. So, as she said, not enough bacon grease, so we're adding in it this way. Oh, that made a huge difference, everybody. Just look at that. Gotta use a little elbow grease. Get in there with your hands, everybody, and too. And that's what you're supposed to do, go in there with your hands so you can... Make a perfect round ball. Right. I would say that's almost ready. Make sure your hands are clean, though. Yes. That's my camera lady, Tatum, over there, everybody. She is a brilliant individual helping out. You see how that's starting to stick, everybody? We're all right. So the consistency, everybody, look at that. It looks just like a stuffing, like, a, a, like you do for dough, cookie. And what you're doing is you want to make sure you can make this into a ball. So we're going to get over here, and we're going to take this next step. Okay, so we already got the first one done over here. So basically, Tatum. I stopped the camera. No, you didn't. I have the camera going there, sweetheart. <laughs> so Tatum and I are going to make up some meatballs, a couple of them for you. So what you do is you get your hands wet, okay, and then you grab a part of this. And what you're doing is you're looking at making this, okay, everybody? Just a little bit bigger than a golf ball, right? So I like this. And you got to work it until it becomes firm. So keep on moving it like this, right Tatum? Mm -hmm. You know, kind of give it a press. And what we're doing, put a little bit more water on that, is we're making up a gorgeous meatball that looks just like that. Isn't that just incredible, everybody? Look at that, even Tatum, I think her meatball is better than my meatball, you know. And then, Everybody, what's so great about this, this is going to be our dinner tonight, right, Tatum? Yeah. And these can be made up and frozen. Now, my mom's going to teach us how to do this perfect. Did you tell them that the water you put the... Yes. So, what we're doing right now is that we got water boiling, because that's how we cook it. We throw it in a pot of boiling water. You know, so what we're doing is Tatum and I are going to finish up. That's a nice meatball. That's a big meatball. I've done this Not before. Meatball. Oh, dumpling. You know, I love this, and I call it a meatball, and it's a dumpling. My sister is just sitting there laughing at me. I'm never going to let this down, everybody. I fly, what, 2,000 miles out here. You call it a meat lane. A meat lane? Yeah. I did not call it a meat lane. A meat lean? It's a dumpling. It's a, it's a dumpling. It's a joke, honey. It's a, see, Jane is even getting me as Tatum is 
Wow, Tatum's like a ninja over there, everybody. I should hire her and bring her out to Wisconsin. Only if you bring me to the Dells. I'll, I'll make you beef jerky. Okay. <laughs> so everybody, we're gonna finish up these dumplings. So we can get everything ready and we're gonna show you how we're gonna cook these up, how we're gonna freeze these up, and we're going to have a delicious, awesome meal, right? Yeah. These dumplings freeze really good. Now my mom said, get yourself a bag, put these dumplings in the bag, put them in the refrigerators for a couple hours so they help them set. Then you put them into the freezer. So we're just gonna take these in. And when you take them back out, you just boiling, dump them in boiling water. And like she said, everybody, so when you make these up, you can then put these right out of the freezer, right into boiling water, and then you're going to have a beautiful meal. 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. For 20 minutes. See, I just learned that. 20 minutes, everybody. So she said, put them in here carefully, like that, right? Wash your hands. Close up the bag. And Tatum, do we have a clean one? Oh yeah. We're gonna get a clean one because this one's a little dirty. I don't know this kitchen very well, everybody. I need the help of everybody else. Thank you, Tatum. Tatum got us a new paper plate. And now we're just gonna put this up like that. If you could slide the paper plate in. So this is what it looks like. It's a 20 minute boil, everybody. Not a roiling boil, a gentle boil. If you have the boiling too hard when you throw these in there, guess what, they're gonna explode, they're gonna break apart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the dumplings and I have my best sous chef in the whole wide world named Tatum. You wanna come over here, Tatum, and give me a hand? And what we were told is to take about two of them and slowly Pop them in, right? Ooh, don't drop it. Bring it right there, right? Bring it, ooh, watch your fingers, everybody. Okay. Boom, remember, when you put them in, the water rises, so you gotta lift it up right away, right? There you go. That is 20 minutes now, so let's wash our hands, Tatum, right? So you see this? Now, about medium heat and a slow boil for 20 minutes. That's gonna bring the temperature down when you put them in, so make sure you watch that and get that up, and then let's see what these are in about 20 minutes. We have the dumplings done. Just look how beautiful this looks. Let's see if I can do this. Just look at it. I'm being photobombed right now. She's way off. <laughs> That's my sister, everybody. And look at this. It's already open. My mom took a taste. She said, yes, that is perfect. So what I'm going to do, just to let you all know, we're going to take a small little spoonful of this, just like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So we're going to put two dumplings in here and we're gonna splash that goulash on it. We'll get both of these recipes up. And let's just do that right now. Gotta make sure we don't make too big of a mess or my sister will have me for lunch. Ow, oh, oh that really hurts. Mm. Soft spot. Now, does people want their dumplings cut in half or do you just put it right on top? Okay, and now let's, stupid corner, gotta watch that everybody. Oh, this came out so good. Yes. Okay, 
Everybody, <gasps> look at that. This is a dinner for a king and a queen, and that's what we're going to have. And you can have salad with it. My mom said salad goes with it, everything goes with it. So let's get everybody served up. We'll do the end of the video, and we're going to sit there and eat. That was such a great meal. We came out here to California to see family, and I got to learn how to make a family tradition recipe, and I get to share it with you. Do all those great things, subscribe, you know, hit that like button, share, and hit that little bell for notification. Hi. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna say goodbye to everybody too? It was delicious. You see? <laughs> That crazy woman that photobomb is my sister. So she had the hospitality for let us use in her kitchen. Thank you. And we enjoy you walking with, this isn't John's kitchen, this is my sister's kitchen, Kelly's kitchen, but we appreciate you coming in. Yes, mom, she did. <laughs> so do all those great things. Until the next recipe, we appreciate you. Until, until that time, bye everybody.